I, I don't need three minutes. Uh, 2016, jetpacks, flying cars, time travel. <laughs> End of. <laughs> If you wish me to speak for the full three minutes, uh, I can go further and say categorically, 2016 will see the end of salted caramel. Uh, I know this from the horses now. It's over. Uh, that's not going to happen anymore. We're looking for more woody aromats, bay and rosemary in particular. <laughs> Um, the Great British Prefix uh, oh. will attend to <clears throat> all BBC programming from autumn 2016, <laughs> leading to the Great British Crime Watch and the Great British News Night. <laughs> um, <laughs> There will be a dedicated Michael Portillo channel in which he gets on <laughs> trains and stays on trains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mary Berry will be deployed in the Middle East. Uh, <laughs> Baklava. Baklava. <laughs> um, providing, you know, healing transformation through sponge. And um, I also, on a more serious note, think it will mean the end of nasty tv i think we're coming to the end of nasty tv shiny floor shows that mock particularly young people uh, through the medium of uh, the talent format um, i think we're looking at thankfully a much more benign inclusive uh, and open-ended form of saturday night uh, and friday night viewing uh, i hope anyway um, I think, again, on a more serious note, that British television will be put fairly and squarely at the heart of public and political <coughs> debate next year for two reasons. Firstly, the government is considering, uh, considering the sell-off of Channel 4, which would mean potentially the loss of £200 million uh, in its budget, uh, which will mean the loss of institutions like Jon Snow, Channel 4 News, therefore being probably replaced by emoticons. <laughs> Middle East, sad face. <laughs> Local interest story, smiley face. Um, I also think the other important thing uh, in, in the, la the delicate ecosystem of, of uh, British television is the uh, government's in continuing interest and in hectoring of the BBC, uh, which leads me to my next point. I think 2016 genuinely we see the increase in public demonstrations. The idea that public can and will take control of their own destiny. I think armchair activism, however important through uh, portals such as social media, will fall back a little bit as people <coughs> take to the streets and realise their voice can and only be heard by standing outside the mother of all parliaments.